Moving on to Sunday. A certain TV studio filming location. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Here I am! Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. <laughs> we have fired that dude. It is just me now. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Oh. Yes, I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts... That was... All my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. Miss Alice... They're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um... Is this... is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and... And I'd assault them until they backed down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied, and I've... It hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... the, the Phantom Thieves? I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! Got to stand by! Why would they want to cut away from that? Alice. That would get them huge viewing figures. This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from a palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. I mean, it wasn't that different from a palace. <laughs> what, like, let's have a look at the differences. The palace didn't disappear when we finished and we had to find a key to get to the final bit. And that's about it. <laughs> People with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. Also, where the fuck have you been for the last six months, Phantom Thieves? I'm just seeing a lot of I want my money back. Well, we sure can't help him there. <laughs> I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. Indeed. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. Oh, don't worry, Arne. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that people admitting to doing shitty things, they will always have some devotees that will be like, no, nope, we're still going to support you no matter what shitty things you've done. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. Even if she goes to prison, she'll probably come out and find herself with a fucking million pound GoFundMe or something. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others, even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me, we should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Jeez, oh, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. Have you been fucking eavesdropping, motherfucker? Sup? How's it hanging, folks? Ah oh, yes, the cool detective that says Sup? Sup? Ah, you again, Gramps? <laughs> hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stings, you know? I wonder how old he is. But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. 
I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. Cool, he's got us there. You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's accurate. <laughs> but Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the phantom thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. Well, shit. Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What bullshit? What the hell did we do? Ryuji, please. <laughs> Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. But you won't. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. True perpetrator? Got any ideas? As in the person controlling Alice behind the scenes. Yeah, how's this? What is causing these uh, epidemic of changes of hearts or changes of desires? The MO in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Now, this is unexpected. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there, similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it, but... But Gramps is sane's probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there too? Just a hunch, Morgana. Yes. <laughs> then what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Yeah. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? He seems trustworthy. What other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. He gives off them good vibes. What do you say? Let's make the deal. I think that'd be wisest. No, wait. Even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the metaverse. Well, that's okay. Do you think he'll even believe us? We can take him, can't we? We can take whoever we like into the metaverse? Because, like, we took... Yeah, because you, you don't awaken to a persona before going into the metaverse, so you don't have to have a persona to go there. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, me and Ryuji, when we first went in, we were just regular and then we awoke to personas in there so yeah anyone can be taken in so we could just be like sup look at this and the jail's still up so we have no choice but to make him believe otherwise it's our leader on the line but but the metaverse the jail how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that show him <sighs> it seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Yeah, I'm glad you're on my wavelength, my love. Wait, really? Mako-chan. Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. 
We just have to go along with it for the time being. It'll be dangerous in the jail, but we should be able to protect one man. There doesn't seem to be another option. It may be in our best interest to accept the deal. All right, we'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Oh, he was definitely listening the whole time. <laughs> huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. I see. A jail full of shadows. With a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? <laughs> oh, I love this dude. If you're going to cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time. What the fuck does he think is happening? Like, I can get, obviously, it's a fucking weird thing to hear. But when you are already working under the assumption that people are having their hearts changed by an external power. But at that point, you just have to accept that some things are going to be possible, you know? Because, like, that at that point, you're in the realm of, like, supernatural or whatever. So to then go, oh, these people are definitely lying to me. It's kind of like, come on, man. Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? You're going to oh, love this next bit. We get to go through the screen. Huh? Where to exactly? The screen. Here we go. <laughs> He's like, what the so fuck are you, are you guys me? wearing? <laughs> what the fuck are you guys wearing? What? What is... This... Isn't real. <laughs> this... Isn't real. Isn't real. Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa. What happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our Phantom Thief attire. Ha! Ah. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. <laughs> He's gonna be like, wait, who are you? Wait, who are you? That's literally what he said. <laughs> I am Sophie, humanity's companion. She is nice Sophie, humanity's companion. Oh, nice to meet you. What? <laughs> oh, this is great. This is so good. Chill out, Zenkiji. You've got to keep yourself together. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I can't be losing my shit like... Monster Cat! <laughs> monster Cat! I am not a Monster Cat! I am Morgana! Do you finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? I much as I drink last night. This just had to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? <laughs> no need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. <laughs> oh, this is this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted from a Persona sequel, Stonefly sequel. This is just I love these characters, man. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. I mean, don't you want to show him around a bit? Convince him that he's not just lost the block completely. Nope, back we go. How did this... What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. <laughs> mm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. What's that red triangle over Arn's head? It looks like it's pointing at her. I'm pretty sure it's just like on the glass behind her or something. But like, wh why? What is it? <laughs> oh, 
Why'd we even yeah, it's just on the glass. It all beforehand? Why is there a red triangle on the glass? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. Never forget your first time, eh, Yusuke? <laughs> get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi. Huh? Oh, right. Right. Get it together. This cat said my name! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Sophia, but Zenkichi is just too funny, man. I think Zenkichi might be my new favorite character. I do love Sophia, though. She is great. The Zenkichi man. <laughs> He's so fucking funny. Wait, are you that monster cat from that place? It's the monster cat! <laughs> Not a monster or a cat. I told you I am Morgana. Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it. <laughs> That's really something. <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. I think so too, man. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. <laughs> but I'm going to strive to understand. That's all we can ask, man. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. Good man. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. <laughs> oh, I want to choose that just to see what he says, but I feel like it's a serious moment. We're making a vow. We're signing up with the popo. So I'm not going to choose a funny option, even though I like I, I'm curious, but it doesn't feel like the right moment for it, you know? Good. I look forward to working together. In that case, I'm going to cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. Is Sapporo a place, I guess? I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Cool. It gives us a week? Over a week? Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. Oh, you already have a suspect? We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This'll be quite the little trip for us. A uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. Oh? Uh -huh. You're going to want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? Why is that? Exactly. Man, me and Makoto fucking brains connected, I tell ya. You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? How about we walk? <laughs> Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not going to set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, kitty. Kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry. <laughs> okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. Lol. Bum, ba dum ba da 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 bum bum ba dum Bim, bidim, bidim, Talk about bidim. an effing buzzkill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. 
Gonna get to tour Japan, that sounds like a holiday to me. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Apparently, some of you guys are saying in, back in the Royal playthrough that the original plan for Persona 5 was to have them have the team traveling like all over the world. And then they ended up keeping it pretty localized in the end. And then now with this sequel, they're traveling across Japan. And I wonder if for Persona 6, they're going to revisit their original idea and have Persona 6 be a globe trotting adventure. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah. Sushi for me. Phantom road trip time! Oh, dear. We can cut loose after the case is closed. Makoto, I disown you. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first. Now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Yes, so actually, who created Emma? L like the company or whatever that's behind it? We should probably start looking into that, Futaba. <laughs> uh, it's like the meta now, yes. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Medis. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts or something. So pure. <laughs> Moron. Huh? There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? She had a dev build. Oh my god. Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, next topic, the jail. Did we get his phone number? Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their rulers' cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so, we're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone? If stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over, aren't we the only ones who can stop it? Pretty much. That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes. It's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage. <laughs> There's my phantom thieves. Yeah, you said it. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up. Woo! That's the plan. Maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right. We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. Oh wait, really? Is this is that gonna be a thing we're doing? That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
yes? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Oh? Ooh, check the super AI. I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. For real? For real? By scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. Aww. Mm -hmm. Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... A great time with you guys. You're right. We deserve to enjoy ourselves along the way. All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Well, good thing we have fucking the richest person around on our team, eh? Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh? Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. <laughs> well, we cut a deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <laughs> Nah, no way. Guys, Haru is fucking loaded to the teeth. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Pipe up, Haru. You're literally, like, so rich. Let's go ask him. I feel like they're, like, missing that. <laughs> A ride that could fit all of you. Were you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Uh, yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. And how it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Please! Hmm. Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yes. Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. So consider it. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? Wouldn't dream of it. And are you all set with travel funds and whatnot? Yes, we've all been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. <laughs> yeah, we gotcha. Boom. Monday. A camper? This is turning into some kind of coming of age flick. <laughs> Wait, are you guys and girls actually gonna sleep in that thing together? No worries, the boys are all sleeping on the roof. And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. <laughs> oh, and I'm very handy with an ax. <laughs> said with a smile. Uh, yeah. Please go easy on us, ladies. These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. Me and Makoto might sneak off and leave you guys, though, for a bit. You know. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's fault. Here you go. My scores, Kichi. Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? We'll do our best. So, how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration. Was there anything else? Right, so she didn't actually, like, know that that was going to happen. It just began and she noticed it happening, but she didn't have any control over it starting or anything. So someone flicked a switch somewhere that made that happen to her. The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires. And why? Would they want that to happen, I guess, is the question. Why would someone 
who is on, and obviously Alice is just one of many switches who that have they have flicked across the country to start changing people and getting people to be obedient to them, I guess. Well, actually, I, we don't know, I suppose. I'm just sort of assuming that it always makes people obedient to the person, but that might not be how it works for everyone. That might just be Alice-specific because of her background. So I wonder, I wonder. But what is what is the goal? What do What does this person or persons achieve by doing this? Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Unless it's like, it's me, Yalbadoth's son. Yaldabaoth? Yalbadoth. I can't remember. Which is it D first and then B? Yaldabaoth, I think. <laughs> it's it's Yaldabaoth's baby boy. Grown up in the space of six months, you murdered my daddy. Now I'm going to fuck you all up. <laughs> hmm? What in the hell? What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. Hmm. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity. Either her smartphone usage in general, or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... Someone's keeping tabs on her? That would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Indeed. Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. Damn straight. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Awesome. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Since That's it didn't right. seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkyuji said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. We don't know enough about what's happening. We should gather more intel. Be -de -be -be. Hey, you guys still together? Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Hey. Yo. Well, here's your wheels. What? This is the camper? Whoa. Whoa, it's like three times more badass than I expected. Beautiful. This retro design, so simple, yet so elegant. Thanks. Well, thanks, Sojiro. We'll do our best not to crash it. Come on. Hey, don't go jinxing yourselves. Bloop. Found the make and model online. This is a Volgan retro knife. It has four beds and a rooftop tent. There are enough power outlets for everyone, as well as cooking appliances for any culinary needs. Oh. We can have asked for anything better. That's our chief for you. Wow! Wow! I love the interior too. Yes, it reminds me of American diners in the 1950s. Hmm. I hope I can actually drive something this big. It's got its little quirks, but I'm sure you'll get used to them quick enough. Until then, though, make sure you drive carefully, okay? Uh... Well, I guess I can't really park this here, can I? I'll go move this to the nearest lot. You go finish your packing. That's true. All right, let's disband for now and regroup once we're ready to roll out. Well, good job getting packed up for the trip. Anything else you think we'll need? If so, we'd better go buy it now. Once we're all set, we should go say our goodbyes to the chief before heading out. Bing, 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 bing. Yo, dude. There's somewhere I want to go before we head out. You should check it out too. 
I'll wait for you outside, so just let me know when you're ready. Alright. Stated that they would like to assist in the creation of a world of AI. Pardon? They have also stated that they would like to put their capital investment towards this as well. Hmm. AI, huh? Hard to believe that's a normal thing nowadays. Hang on. Hmm. Oh wait, this is different. I guess it makes sense though. Anyone would want to use something that convenient. Hmm. Hmm. A world of AI, hey? That's gotta be pertinent. That's gotta have some relation to what's going on. It must do. <laughs> Ten bond points, eh? Hey, Makoto, you're not normally on the bond screen, are you? Are you? I don't think so. Bomb, bomb, bomb. That's still locked, all right. Should probably get that, because I imagine we'll start getting higher level chests in the next palace. I, could, I wish I knew exactly what a phantom dash is. You probably let me know uh, in the last part, or was it last part, or this part when I asked it. But uh, obviously, recording multiple at once, so I haven't seen that yet. Um, man, this one's just so fucking expensive. I want it, but I just can't justify spending that much. And it's probably not even that much recovery. Like. That's probably good. That's probably pretty good. Max HP, though, also probably pretty good. And then obviously, I mean, we can leave luck and ability, uh, agility and endurance, but like, strength and magic, huge. Huge. Definitely one of those. Showtime is good, but I wonder how much it will rip, because you don't normally get showtime. Like, it only really matters in the occasional really hard fights, right? For the most part, you're just slashing through hordes. So it doesn't really make a difference. I'm gonna go with max HP, I think. And safe cracker. Because I'm guessing that there's going to be harder, higher level chests in the next in the next palace, next jail. Oh, there's so much. I wonder. I wonder if we'll be able to get everything by the end, or whether it's like you'd have to go into New Game Plus to get everything. I don't know. Cool though. That went pretty well. Uh, how are we looking on levels then? Right. Yeah. Okay. Peter, Makoto, Haru, Haru, and Sophia are all level 15, and then the, the ones we didn't use, Ryuji, Morgana, Ahn, and Yusuke are still level 10. So next party, next party, next jail, we will go with Ryuji, Ahn, and Yusuke, I guess. I still don't see myself using Morgana that much, although maybe, I don't know. We need to keep them, we need to get them leveled up, basically. And... Oh, man, I wonder how I wonder how hard how much harder is the second jail gonna be compared to the first one? Am I is it gonna be really hard using lower level people? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. We'll hope we'll, we'll get them all to level 15 and then start swapping around more frequently, I guess. Cause I, I just didn't even I didn't even consider. <laughs> didn't even consider that when you start out royal, you're not gaining XP for people not in your party. That's a bonus that I got along the way and I no longer have. God damn it. So that is definitely something we will do. Uh, I need to do a bit of uh, persona fusing, I'm sure, as well. Cool, cool. Sounds like stuff for next time. There we go. I should write something. Let's pop another save. Great stuff. I'm very happy. I was, I was 
If, if, the, if the boss fight had gone badly, I was very much considering popping the game down too easy because, you know, I was I was definitely struggling in that palace quite a, quite a bit at points. And I was like, oh, I don't know, man, I might just... I might just pop it down to easy so I can blast through and get to the bit that I am more interested in, which is obviously the characters and story and all that. However, we did first try that boss. Even though Joker died twice and someone else, was it Haru, died once as well. So it was definitely, like, tough. But we just about made it. So I'm going to keep it on normal for now. But I, I, I'm not ruling out the possibility that if, if we get completely ruined in the future I may drop it down because yeah the combat isn't exactly what I'm here for so I don't particularly mind but uh we'll see we'll see keep it on normal for now anyway that is where we will leave it for today thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already share the videos around share the playlist around if you can I would really appreciate that and I'll see you next time for more Persona 5 Strikers thanks for watching see you there